Cynthia, they're calling it a last resort. A coalition representing a combined 16,000 employees with the University of Toronto has started a petition against the school's reopening plan, saying that it's putting the whole campus at risk. Now, these workers say the university is offering way too many in-person courses, unlike other schools who are focusing more on remote learning. The more we heard about the reopening plans, the more concerns we had about member safety. The petition, U of T's reopening plan isn't safe, is supported by six University of Toronto faculty and staff unions who say the school fails to address key questions about health and safety, including having too many in-person classes in the middle of the pandemic. The ask is any academic workers, any workers who teach are involved in teaching or instruction in any way, anyone that can stay home does stay home. U of T's plans includes a mix of remote and in-person learning with an option for students to ultimately decide in some cases. More than 90% of undergraduate courses will be taught online, but many of them will offer an in-person element. Overall, at least one third of the school's courses will have in-person teachings. One third of the classes at U of T is a huge number, actually. So, I mean, that's thousands of people regularly congregating on the campus in classroom spaces and commuting to and from via transit. In some divisions, a majority would be in person, and furthermore, that the majority of graduate classes would be in person. The coalition is concerned about crowds of students, staff, and faculty in close contact, in closed spaces, and in old buildings. They lack any kind of adequate modern ventilation, and we didn't hear anything about how to make sure that U of T buildings were all appropriately ventilated, given the latest science on airborne transmission. The University of Toronto says it not only follows public health guidelines, but exceeds them and quote, most faculty, staff and librarians will continue to do the vast majority of their work from home this fall. Instructors and TAs were able to choose if they wanted to teach small sections in person in the fall and faculties and departments are being flexible in addressing individual needs of instructors and TAs accommodating those who may be at risk. But the coalition says many of its members aren't included in the list and will be put at greater risk. Anyone that they supervise, their tutorial leaders, their TAs, music instructors and, and other categories of jobs, they don't have that choice. Um, and that's a huge problem that the people that are more precariously employed often more likely to be in unequal power relationships with the people they work for, um, international students, racialized folks. York University says 95% of their 3,500 undergraduate courses will be taught online or remotely during the fall term, with the remaining 5% taught in person. Meanwhile, Ryerson says remote work will continue until at least January 2021, putting a cap on the number of employees using physical space allowed on campus at any point, no more than 30%. The majority of classes will be virtually led. The school has not provided City News with exact numbers. And the coalition tells me they were also concerned that students wouldn't be required to wear masks inside classrooms. The university has since changed that. The group says they just want the university to work alongside faculty and teachers, students and other stakeholders in order to come up with a plan that works best for everyone. So far, over 6,400 people have signed this petition.